Alright guys, so a couple of hours ago I was asked how to get either an CSO or an ISO onto TNV11. And I can see where people get confused with this because there's a couple of specific steps you need to go through. But other than that, it's very quick. So you grab your ISO or your CSO, doesn't matter. And here's what you can do. First you need to rename it. Now it has to be the name has to be all capitals and less than eight characters. What I usually do is just name it Game 1, or Game 2, or Game 3, or Game 4, or Game 5, if I have multiple or whatever. And then, here's where people mess up too. The extension also has to be capitals. So, see how mine was .CSO, it'd be capital CSO, like that. So, if, an, if it's an ISO, you mean make sure the extension is capital ISO. So, once you have that, the next part, you're just going to drag it into your TNV save folder. So in my case, it's right here. Boom, boom, put it in. Now this is not a new TNV safe folder. This is the one you used to install TNV in the first place. So yeah, sure. ignore this. This is just me being weird. So yeah, you put it in the safe folder and now you're simply transferring over to your Vita. Um, just give me a second, I'll go over to my Vita and show you how it works. Yes. Alright, so here we're just copying over the save folder onto the Vita, and from there we can just open TNV, and we should see the Patapon, which is the CSO I used. Alright, I'm probably going to skip to the part where the safe folder has already been transferred. So, yeah. Alright, so like I said before, once the um, transfer is done, you simply just go into your TNV11 bubble, and then go into the, the game section. And yeah, you should see your, your CSO or ISO. Now, just a note, um, please remember that your save folder is where the ISOs are held. So like it's not just transferred over to T and to onto your Vita or anything. Um, <laughs> um, here's an example. Say that you wanted to put another game onto your Vita, and you delete the pad upon from the save folder and put in a different game like Final Fantasy VII or something like that. I mean, Crisis Core. Um, when you went back in TNV11, you wouldn't see pad upon anymore because you the save file overwrote it and it didn't have pad upon in that overwritten save file. So yeah, that's just a note. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you really liked it, comment, subscribe, like. I'm, I'm just getting started with these tutorial videos. So yeah, I'll see you all later and thanks for watching.